Hey y'all, what's up? So, can I tell you something? We've been talking a lot about defund the police. You've probably heard a lot of people talking about it and you're, I've been hearing people ask, well, what does it mean? I don't get it. Or it's complicated and it's confusing. It's, it's not really confusing, but let's talk about it. So a lot of people are asking, well, why defund the police? Why not police reform? So we've tried that. We've tried police reform over many, many years and still it stays the same. Uh, we've tried to figure out different ways to train police. Still things stay the same. Still to this day, right now, oh, every year, over a thousand men, women, and children are killed by police. It's out of control. So that's what people are saying, just maybe defund the police because it's really not working. It's a system that is built on harming black people. Black people are being targeted um, disproportionately. Um, people are still being killed with men, women, and children still being killed. So people are saying maybe it's time to take, to divest some of those resources and invest resources in a different way, um, in a way that redefines what protection really can look like. So America spends um, $100 billion on policing and another $80 billion on incarceration where Black people are disproportionately targeted. What if we used our tax money to put towards other services like education, like healthcare, like housing, like, like employment opportunities. In some cities, just by defunding to the police by 5% would double the budget for public health. You know what's cool? It's actually happening. It's happening in cities all across the country, all over the country. People are asking the question, do we really need to invest all of these funds in a system that doesn't work while we're taking funds away from systems that do work, that will help? So what does that look like? That looks like divest in police and schools, invest in teachers and counseling. That looks like divesting and criminalizing mental health and providing mental health and restorative services. That means divesting in an over-militarized uh, police force, military weapons against citizens, and investing in community-led harm reduction programming. That's it, that's it. That's the whole thing that is, divesting in police and investing in communities. That is the way we transform. And it's just, it's time to claim healthy, safe futures for our children. It's time to claim healthy, safe futures for our elders and for ourselves. So if you're interested in learning more, you wanna join us, please text TRANSFORM to 24365. Thanks, bye.